So I know I'm two days late, but I wanted to talk about my experience with my first year with my spinal cord stimulator. I have the Boston Scientific Wave Rider with the 32 contact pedal. Surgery day, I have to say I wasn't scared. I had been in so much pain for quite a while. I had CRPS that had spread from my foot to my entire body from the chest down. And so I could not wait for this device to be implanted just to the thought of having some relief. So I went to the surgery center, 6.30 a.m. Neurosurgeon implanted the device and I was home by lunch. Pain the next week was unbelievable. I think one big contributing factor was that they had operated in an area or several areas where I have CRPS. So it sort of angered a giant. That made recovery very hard, even with pain medication and muscle relaxers. I relied on my mom for everything. Just 10 days after getting my stimulator, I started getting excruciating shooting pain into my tailbone, and it turned out that scar tissue had built up around the paddle. So my rep told me to turn that off, and when I went in to get my staples out at the two-week post-op period, he programmed through that, and I was doing great. Next came the whole restrictions, bending, lifting, twisting. My neurosurgeon told me that I could bend at six weeks, and I bent and I popped. The anchor that held the wire that connected my paddle to my battery had come undone. I did not need a revision, but I did have an x-ray to make sure that everything was still in place. It was very painful, so I had some pretty intense spasms between my shoulder blades for quite a while. This is why I would say that not only should you not try to shorten your restrictions, but I would say give yourself a little extra time because you don't want a revision. In the last year, I've had so many ups and downs with this device. I had such incredible relief for eight months. And then in November, all of a sudden it felt like both of my stimulators had been sort of turned off and I've been having full body flares ever since. I have not switched programs just because I'm too afraid to lose whatever pain relief that I get. So a big lesson here is that even though you may get relief originally, things can change. One thing I preach now that I've learned more about these devices is that they are tools and not cures. You should not expect 100% relief automatically, and you may not get relief. That's why this is a gamble. This is a huge gamble. But if you're in enough pain, you're going to take that gamble. That's why I went into this surgery without any fear, and I have no regrets. And I'm just grateful every day for whatever relief I do get. So, love you guys. Hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.